I'm a little late on recording my last two videos. Um, it should be day five, so I'm going to shoot a day five video. Uh, today I wanted to talk about healthy coping mechanisms, because one of the first videos I recorded, I talked about my vices and my negative uh, coping mechanisms. And the last, yeah, the last video, I was in a really not a good place. Um, just feeling really stressed out about my life and my relationships and just everything that's going on in my life right now it has just been really hard for me to deal with. So today I want to focus on positive things because I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I talked to my support system and, you know, we, we go through a lot of um, healthy coping mechanisms and we talk a lot about ways to regulate our emotions and my cat's in the background. And, you know, just how to deal with things in a positive way rather than relying on our vices, such as alcohol and sex. For some people, that's never been an issue of mine, but for some people it is. Um, shopping, gambling, all that stuff. So one of the things I wanted to talk about that's a healthy coping mechanism, or two of the things actually, are two of the things that I do for work. So one of them is cooking. For me, if I'm feeling really low, Sometimes it's really nice to just go to the store, you know, go to Gelfin's, splurge, buy a really nice cut of filet mignon, and make myself an amazing dinner for one. Just me, you know, my pets here, just focusing on me, and um, yeah, cooking for the love of cooking. Because I cook a lot for other people, so sometimes they kind of take away that love and joy for it if I'm not doing anything that's very creative with the cooking. Um, so that's always really nice for me to be able to, like, Nope, tonight I'm going to, you know, shut off the rest of the world and just focus on me and cook something really amazing and delicious for myself. Um, so the other thing I like to do, too, is work out. Um, I did go on a three-hour hike the other day trying to avoid my emotions, but that was overdoing it. Um, that's also detrimental in some ways because... Um, you know, you could pass out or, or get sick or, you know, engaging in anything in um, excess is always, can always be damaging in the end. Um, but fitness is also, no, sorry, my cat is rubbing my head on the oh. phone. Um, but fitness is also something for me that, like, I can tell, like, night and day how I feel afterwards. Like, for instance, the other day I was just in a really crappy mood and I hadn't worked out probably for like a good four or five days. And I was like, you know what, screw it, I gotta go. I'm gonna go take a spin class. So I went and I took a spin class and I feel, I felt immediately better. Like after I walked out during the class, I was kind of like, oh God, but you know, my blood's flowing, um, all my positive endorphins and stuff are running through me. Um, and yeah, I just felt like a new person at the end of it. Um, so that's something for me that I can rely on that's positive. Another thing for me, and that you might, you know, see useful too, is a lot of times when I'm feeling depressed, I don't take care of my parents and I don't take good care of myself. So one thing I like to do when I'm trying to shift, shift uh, my mood is I'll pamper myself. If I have the money, I'll go out, get my nails done, get a massage, maybe go get my hair done. Um, if I don't have the money, I'll just do those things here in my, at my house. Um, so, you know, I'll, I will paint my nails and I'll really give myself a nice scrub down in the bath, you know, essential oils, um, condition my hair, put on a face mask, pluck my eyebrows, you know, I'll just do a whole like little mini makeover, mini spa day for myself here at home. And that also a lot of times makes me feel so much better. I'm just capable of like focusing on me. And this is about me, this is about improving how I feel. And um, yeah, I love that. I love being able to do that. So what are some of your positive coping mechanisms? I really want you guys to engage with me. Um, so just let me know, like, what are the things that you really love to do when you're feeling low that put you in a better mood and bring you up and bring you into a good spirit? They could even be doing nice things for other people because doing nice things for other people is one of the main ways that we feel good about ourselves. So yeah, let me know.